So could I please ask everyone to take your seats? Okay, I guess I'll start. My name is Linda Kersner. Hi, Linda. Hello. And I'm a member of the Dragon Boat Israel Steering Committee and your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. I have the honor and pleasure of welcoming you here and inviting all of you to thank the staff at Hamat Gader for the delicious food that they have provided for you this evening. A special, special thank you to Ariel Hurt, General Manager, Deputy Director Alon Winter, and Sales Manager Mayor Barkan for making all of this possible. Now you have to bear with my Hebrew. Shalom lekulam, naim meod, shmi Linda Kersner. Yesh li hakavod lechanot et ha'erev hazeh. Yesh lanu ha'oneg v'hakavod lirotchem ben orchenu. Ani mevakeshet lahodot be'ofen ishi la'ariel hurt, alon winter, v'mer barkan. Shasu hakol lahanim et ha'erev hazeh. How amazing and peaceful it is to sit here on the border between Israel, Jordan, and Syria. It's hard to believe that not far from here a civil war is being fought, yet here we are. Let us hope that the desire of all of us sitting here is for an everlasting peace in the region and in the world. And the message of fraternity embedded in dragon boating will find a way to nest itself in all the countries surrounding us. We would also like to thank all of the sponsors who made this event possible. They are listed in the programs that were given to you today. One additional sponsor, our Dragon Boat Purchaser for Bruchladis and Lassies, Jack Schinder and Yaffa Greenbaum were omitted, so please thank them as well. In particular, we would like to recognize by name all of our platinum, gold, and silver sponsors. Lifnei hakol anachnu ratzin lahadot lekol hatomchim, sorry, near, sheifsheru lerua lehikayem. אנחנו רוצים להודות באופן אישי לכל אחד מהתומכים. תודה לרון וייס, קנדיאן שייר, ואילן אור, ישראלי שייר של פרטנרשיפ תגדר. אני לא יודעת את הנקס פיפל, את קרסנר פאמילי פאונדיישן. את ישראל מיניסטרי של טוריזם. פאבו ביר. They have a big setup in the back. Please drink their beer. Please visit their location. Barbara Crook and Dan Greenberg. Michael Walsh and Lisa Rosencrantz. Ron Weiss and Debbie Halton Weiss. Claudine and Stephen Brothman. Alisa and Avraham Eni, Honey Sherman, Emiel, Marlon Travel, El Al, the Water Collection Authority of the Canaret, represented by Pinkett Screen Chair, the Canaret Authority, represented by Svika Slutsky Chair. Ma'agan Holiday Village, the site of the Dragon Boat. One Family Fund. The life jackets you are wearing today. Super Farm. Jewish Federations of Canada, UIA, represented by Mark Gold. And the Jewish Federation of Ottawa. I would like 
now, in a moment, to introduce Debbie Halton Weiss, Chair of Dragon Boat Israel, to say a few words. Orchini Karim, Animit Kabedet, Lahazmin at Debbie Halton Weiss, Amidna Devet, Arashit Shalha Dragon Boat, Lamar Kamamilim. Awesome Hebrew, Linda. <laughs> welcome, welcome, wow. Welcome, Brahim Habayim. We are honored to have Ambassador Paul Hunt with us tonight, who will be saying a few words shortly. And joining us from the Jewish Federations of Canada, UIA, Linda Kislowitz, CEO, Yossi Tanuri, uh, Director General, Fagi Zimmerman, Chair of the Residence Council, and Mark Gold, President and Friend. Nancy Morty. We are thrilled you can all be with us. I'm going to tell a story, and I know this is a very big venue, but when you hear your name in this story, stand up for a second. The dragon boat baby was not even a glimmer in our eyes when Victor Yagoda and I when Victor Yagoda and I lived on the shores of Lake Neret at Kibbutz Engev in 1975. We didn't yet know each other or how our paths would cross time and time and time again over the next 35 years. The faint glimmer of began three and a half years ago over a glass of wine in Jerusalem when Lisa and I were thinking about a way to engage Jewish women leadership in Ottawa. I hope you're standing, Lisa, I can't see you. with an innovative, team-building, inclusive, fun, physically-oriented, charitably-driven initiative. The Sea Lions were born, a first cousin to Dragon Boat Israel, a team of Ottawa Lions of Judah and their daughters who entered the Ottawa Dragon Boat Festival, successfully finishing third in the spirit and fundraising races, beating over 192 teams. We were pumped. We were inspired by the common values we shared with the Dragon Boat community. Weeks later, Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Shelley, <laughs> and, my, and myself were debriefing at Myrna's house. Myrna. Our eyes began to twinkle with the thought of heading to Israel in a dragon boat, innocently believing we would merely hop on a plane, appear at the event where a boat awaited, and raise a few dollars for a worthy Jewish cause. But, after months of research and networking, we were faced with only one conclusion. Dragon Boat Israel, DBI, would be conceived, and it would be up to us to make it happen. Tracy, Tracy joined the group. There she is. Helping us to clarify our goals and begin the process of turning a crazy idea into reality. Mitchell, Mitchell, he's the only guy. As leader, of the Ottawa Jewish, Fest <laughs> Ottawa Jewish Federation recognized the worthiness of dreaming, but, like any good parent, was concerned with practicalities of raising this offspring in a harsh world of logistical and fiscal realities. And like any good father, caring for a child's well-being, volunteered his wife, Nicola. <laughs> to bring her writing and technology skills to our team. And then, 
And then came Barb. 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 Barb entered the fold, becoming the first family member who understood what it would take to keep this baby alive and healthy. And even with this knowledge, unlike the rest of us ignoramuses, she still offered her experience, time, as well as her willingness to access expertise from the Dragon Boat community. And what a wonderful, generous group they have been to us. With her involvement, Dragon Boat Israel gained a new level of credibility and along with Francis, Francis and her amazing attention to detail and experience with breast cancer survivor festivals, the fetus was developing and its heartbeat going stronger every day. Our extended family, partnership together in UIA, now welcome the baby with open arms, investing in its foundation and continued survival. Mayors Yossi Vardy and Arharan Valenci, they recognize the value and excitement this new offspring could bring to the area. The Dragon Boat's the Dragon Baby's delivery began in earnest six months ago when our six beautiful boats arrived from China onto the shores of the Sea of Galilee, welcomed by its new Israeli and Canadian mishpocha. Rebbe Tal made sure the announcements were created and heard loudly and clearly throughout the area and beyond. Thanks, Rebbe Tal. And may it be Since then, it's been six long months of pushing. Every time we turned around, there was a new challenge to be faced, but Victor kept us breathing evenly, the pain was under control, and our attention remained focused. Linda Kersner, Linda, 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 you know who Linda is, wanted to make sure we brought this baby into a beautiful and welcoming home and took the incredible lead to ensure we had the resources to do this successfully. Raya Strauss came on board with her unparalleled commitment and support to the northern region of Israel. And, as with the health of any newborn, luck, Besheret, was on our side. The rains fell through the winter. The rainbow shone through the clouds during our practice session in March. But most importantly, our Israeli team stepped up to the plate, taking responsibility for ensuring everyone and everything was in place creating detailed work plan schedules and developing roles and job descriptions. David Rose, David Rose, I'm not sure he's in the room, no, solicited help and began developing a huge network of volunteers, over a hundred people, to ensure a successful delivery that you witnessed today and will culminate tomorrow. Thanks goes to the Israeli Steering Committee, made up of Evelyn Liat, Carmela Tao, Ruti Lior, Shaul, Doris. And in particular, the executive, Shai, Ralph, Lawrence, and David. The expertise provided by the team from Amiel, led by Shirley and Oz, went beyond the professional call of duty. Haim coddled the boats like he would his own children, providing all the care and attention they demanded, supported by Aviram, Giora, Yuval, and Moishe, and Menasha of the Jordan Valley Boating Club. Okay, I'm coming to the end. Yes, DBI was kept alive and nurtured by a group of dedicated volunteers, but it became a reality when all of you, you, joined us, believing in a common vision. It is a vision that resonated with Canadians, Israelis, and people from around the world. People of different religions, backgrounds, ages, gender, and physical ability. Children at risk, visually impaired, victims of terrorist attacks, breast cancer survivors. Yes, eight teams made up of BCS paddlers.
full hook of wood. Together, we will be under one tent. Together, we made a crazy dream become real. And together, we will paddle into history. Thank you all for joining us on this incredible, incredible journey.